One year ago, accumulated anger and helplessness reached breaking point. Tens of thousands took to the streets to enforce changes to make women safer, determined to make their voice heard. The brutal gang rape and murder of a 23-year-old had shaken the conscience of an entire country. Stunned at the anger over the ordeal the brave heart had endured, the center constituted a three-member committee headed by retired Justice J.S. Verma to provide a strong legal foundation to check sexual crimes. Committee that uh, they did not want some sort of a Babylonic law, but they wanted a law which was based on reason, and death was certainly not an answer to the issue of rape. So that was an important statement they made before us. On the basis of the Justice Verma Committee report, the anti-rape laws were strengthened. The Criminal Law Amendment Act 2013 was enacted, under which the minimum punishment for an offender is 20 years in jail and a maximum punishment is a life term. Death penalty is applicable in exceptional circumstances if a rape victim dies or if the violation leaves her in a vegetative state and for repeat offenders. Under it, Stalking and voyeurism are non bailable offences if repeated for a second time. It recognises acid attack as a crime and provides for a minimum punishment of a 10-year jail sentence for acid attack convicts, extending to a lifer subject to the severity of the crime. In the case of the case, there is a lot of change. And there are many things that are not in the case of the case of the case of the case of the case वो अब क्राइम बन गया जैसे एसिड अटैक ले लीजिए स्टॉकिंग ले लीजिए वॉयरिज्म ले लीजिए सेक्सुअल हरासमेंट ले लीजिए ये सब चीजें पहले क्रिमिनल ऑफेंस नहीं थे लेकिन महिलाएं इन सब वायलेंस की शिकार थी विद वन ऑफ हर टॉर्मेंटर्स अ जुवेनाइल निर्भयास गैंग रेप ट्रिगर्ड अ डिबेट ओवर वेदर माइनर्स अक्यूज्ड ऑफ इन्वॉल्वमेंट इन हीनियस क्राइम्स शुड बी ट्राइड अंडर द जुवेनाइल जस्टिस एक्ट और इन क्रिमिनल कोर्ट्स अंडर द आईपीसी that debate is far from settled. Nirbhaya's parents have moved the Supreme Court seeking death penalty for the juvenile offender who is serving a three-year term in a reformatory home. The apex court is also seized of a petition by BJP leader Subramaniam Swami that seeks to have mental and intellectual maturity and not the age limit of 18 years as the yardstick for determining how minors accused of heinous crimes should be tried. After ruling in favour of the Juvenile Justice Act on 17th July this year, the Supreme Court has once again gone into the question by seeking the opinion of the Centre on the contentious issue. While legislative changes have been made to provide a stronger deterrent for sexual crimes against women in India, the question remains, are Indian women any safer today than a year before? Neeraj Singh's report, DD News, Delhi.